Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are talking about what it means if you have your midheaven in the sign of Scorpio. And this is actually a viewer request. I forget their username. I think it's like Bruja something, which means witch in Spanish if you're not already familiar. But this is for you and anybody else who has a midheaven in Scorpio because viewer requests are everything on the Wisdom Drops platform, y'all, because this is about community. Which brings me to, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe if you vibe, because we is building tribe, okay? Seriously, if you have a comment that you want, like a, a video that you want, rather, put it in a comment down below. I will be sure to get to that for you if it's like something that seems fun to make a video about. Also, um, make sure you like this vid if it brings you value, y'all. And I'm offering readings right now at a sliding scale. So if your bank account has just been devastated but you still want a reading and you're willing to invest something in that, reach out to me at wisdomdrops at gmail.com. Last but not least, bah, 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 I'm offering an astrology course if you haven't heard yet. It's going to be starting in October and it's going to be thebomb.com. Three months intensive training with me in a small group of people. It's going to be absolutely lit. If you want to be the master of astrology once and for all and understand a chart and how to interpret a chart, all the things of astrology wizardry then this course is for you deeds for that are down below now midheaven and scorpio what does it mean check it out check it out the first thing i'm going to tell you is if you haven't seen the video i just posted which was audio only on midheavens and what that means i suggest you watch that it's like a two minute video this video is just for you scorpio midheaven people if you are a scorpio midheaven you're probably a capricorn or aquarius ascendant you could be a pisces um and even uh, a Sagittarius ascendant depending on where in the world you were born that's a little more extreme but you're probably a Capricorn or Aquarius um, ascendant now with that said Scorpio Midheaven is all about what you're meant to do out in the world and it, for you my friend you're meant to be a transformer in some way shape or form if you have a Scorpio Midheaven what you're growing into what you're ultimately here to do vocationally or be known for in the world is related to transformation and this can be anything ranging from psychology and it can also be um, you know occult arts and tarot and kind of like one of those practitioners of just everything occult and hidden and everything otherworldly even things that are taboo can be Scorpio sexual trauma counseling can very much so be Scorpio that's a sign that rules that sort of stuff now when I say transformation I mean like spiritual emotional transformation Scorpio is the deepest sign of the entire zodiac I don't care what nobody says it's Scorpio also the most powerful sign of the zodiac so with that said with a midheaven in Scorpio you are probably gonna be somebody who's a little more in an authority role or like a, a management role but not so much necessarily under those terms manager that's a little more earth sign uh, Scorpio is kind of like a commander kind of energy so you might be a boss of a group sure but you might also be like an entrepreneur who's like really independent because Scorpio is all about autonomy at the end of the day or working together at the end of the day um, to in order to apply somebody else's resources in order to serve a Scorpio back in return like they're about building together in terms of like if I serve you you serve me we can serve each other as long as it's reciprocal a Scorpio's there low vibe Scorpio energy don't even care if it's reciprocal as long as they get what they need to benefit out of the side of the deal they're fine um, high vibe Scorpio is more like if we're gonna build it needs to be mutually beneficial because I don't want to be a leech in this scenario I want to help you transform and grow and evolve like Scorpios tend to do Scorpio mid specifically you know that's gonna be a lot about uh, helping others come up to another level through your vocation so that's why I say the therapist thing because you're always helping people go on to the next level but you could be a coach as well like a transformation like a life coach you could be a business coach somebody who helps transform things turn things around why do I keep talking about transformation because Scorpio check it out check it out check it out at the highest vibration is a freaking Phoenix y'all so that's like death and rebirth like literally the ancient bird that literally went up in flames like Poof! and it's in Harry Potter in case you need a visual okay but literally went up in flames like Poof! and then all of a sudden comes back new after he was an old bird and he went on fire and then he came back new like a baby phoenix that's literally 
Midheaven and Scorpio. So as a Midheaven and Scorpio, things you want to watch out for. You might lose some jobs. You might have a lot of death and rebirth within your own career. You might be somebody who goes through a layoff here and there, a, a firing here and there, and then you have to learn how to bounce back stronger after for it. Because of that, that's part of where you get your strength as a Midheaven and Scorpio. You thought I was just going to tell you, oh, it's this, that, and the other. Well, I'm telling you, it can be some challenge, but the reason that you end up being so strong in your career, Scorps, Midheavens, is because you go through the death and rebirth yourself. You go through the transformation yourself in that process of evolving into the mighty phoenix that your career is or that your life legacy is. So you're somebody who could deal with the, um, yeah, the psychological side of things or the transformation of business side of things, but at the end of the day, take all that out of the equation, what are you dealing with? You're dealing with the notions of death and rebirth and coming back stronger and better for it. Whether that's your own lifestyle and your own career that that applies to, or your personal uh, pursuits within your career. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I hope that that's useful, but definitely the occult and the hidden and other people's money, other people's finance, because um, Scorpio has to deal with other people's resources. It's the eighth house correspondence, uh, and it's therefore, it's, it's not just your resources, it's combining that or managing other people's in that process of having your own resources. So Scorpio is all about um, definitely others' resources in some way. That's what I've seen really strong Scorpio energy with like financial management. Uh, of other people with clients that I've had and stuff so financial investors and stuff like that like people who just deal with big money can also be a Scorpio Midheaven something I'm gonna tell you and this is for the student who actually cares enough to watch six minutes 30 seconds into this video and you're gonna learn this that other people don't because they already clicked off I'm gonna tell you that if you want to learn more detail this is important about the Scorpio Midheaven in your chart you need to look at both the ancient ruler and the modern ruler that's Mars as the ancient ruler and Pluto as the modern ruler of Scorpio in your chart. And you need to see what houses those planets are in in your chart and see what aspects they're making to other planets. That is going to take your advancement up to the next level in terms of your understanding of what your midheaven means. So again, I'm going to say if you have Scorpio midheaven, where is Mars? If Mars is in the 11th house, then Mars is going to tell you you're meant to network in some way or build social groups or build groups around these notions of death and rebirth and transformation and healing because Scorpio is a healing sign. It's a shamanic sign. Okay. Uh, that and then you're meant to do that publicly in larger groups and networks and somehow engaging networks to do that However, if Mars is in the fourth house, maybe you're meant to help transform people's homes Very different energy very private energy fourth house. Maybe you're meant to help transform land through land initiatives Do you see what I'm saying how that really informs what you're actually transforming? It takes your comprehension of that Scorpio Midheaven um, you know uh, placement up to the next level then you can really see what does my Scorpio Midheaven mean Scorpio Midheaven in and of itself It tells you what I spent the first part of this video talking about if you want to really dive into what you're meant to do What you're meant to grow into as your legacy then you need to look at what Mars and Pluto are doing in the chart period That's gonna help inform you so much my friend as to what exactly you're meant to bring all that Scorpio healing energy to so I hope this video has served you. If it did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And with that said, my friend, through next time. Until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.